It's a sight to spook the local wildlife. A convoy with a difference. The pint-sized caravan called the Teardrop is little more than a mobile bed. The beauty with this is you can stop on the road and hop in and sleep because your bed is always ready. Rainer Gudd makes the renamed Teardrop from his Brisbane base. Before the Second World War, the American-designed Gadabout hit the road in a big way, tailor-made for the times. In America, in the late 30s, um, they started building those uh, for, because the cars didn't have much pulling horsepower, small cars. Reiner makes three styles, a wide-bodied version, a slightly narrower model. And it is within the limits of a car, so, so you, you're missing fence, fence post and gauge, and much easier to tow than a big one. Another design comes with tougher suspension, suitable for off-road travel. But this one is perfect to tow along the beach or a bush. Ease of handling is best demonstrated by this one, pulled behind a three-wheeled motorbike. Owner Rob Wynn, crippled in a freak road accident, has travelled thousands of kilometres. Well, when I first saw it, I thought, that's a sardine can. It's going to take a tin opener to get me out once I get in. Rob changed his opinion after a road test. Now he's a satisfied customer. All I've got to do is open the door, my bed's made, my tea and coffee's ready to go. Fuel efficiency is another selling point. Reiner carts his baby around behind a small capacity laser. Rob, who loves a strong drink at country watering holes, reckons he's discovered a party favourite. Me and I just park outside the pub, have my meal, have my drinks, and come out and fall inside it. Inside, all the comforts of home, only leg room instead of headroom. CD, radio player, television, mini kitchen out the back, a skylight for romantic stargazing. Happy travels. Yes, thank you very much. For decades, Australians have enjoyed pursuing a snail's life with the road ahead and the home behind. It may have fallen out of favour for a time, but caravanning is enormous all over again. In the early 90s, we produced 4,600 caravans. This year, we'll produce nearly 22,000 units, caravans and motorhomes. We have some wide open spaces, and we need them. There are more than 300,000 registered caravans and motorhomes. And in Brisbane each year, we celebrate all things caravanning and camping at the Eka Showgrounds. Yeah, this is the biggest show in Australia, biggest caravan and camping show, and it's actually one of the biggest five in the whole world. In caravans, what's big is small. The growing number of empty nesters and dinks are looking to enjoy the open road without the fuss, without the hassle, but with the comfort. Retro caravans like the Rio, perfect for a couple, and a real eye-catcher are catching on. But you can go even smaller. Brisbane bloke Reiner Gudd is making teardrop campers for those who want to travel light. These are like swags on wheels, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah simple. It's for people there. Uh, lazy campers. If you need more space, you can attach a purpose-built annex. The kitchen's out the back, the dining room around the side, and inside, you can have your mod cons. DVD player? Yeah, this one has a DVD player and a CD stereo. With technology making things smaller, it means camper trailers, caravans and motorhomes can follow the trend without compromising on features. And the manufacturers of these units are being, becoming more clever on how much they can fit into a small space. But there are those who want a little more space. People like film star Nicolas Cage, who hired out this mega motorhome just recently. This is a motorhome on the grandest scale. Well, I guess we can all dream. You're probably wondering how much it's going to cost to be king of the road. Well, you're not going to get much change out of $700,000. Bit beyond my budget. It's off to the camping section for me to inspect gadgets that are making life in tents more comfortable. And there's no shortage of camping creature comforts. There's air mattresses, softer than my bed at home, with individual adjustable air pockets to suit your own needs. 
and forget bathing in a cold stream, this is hot water on demand. Run by propane gas, it heats water instantly for showers or even hot enough for a cuppa. Now, you might wonder what I'm doing sitting down on a job, but I'm actually working. I'm checking out the latest thing in gas heaters for camping. They're flameless, so they're a whole lot safer. It's a catalytic heater, which means you can't see any flame. It burns very little oxygen. To prove the point, Gary runs a tissue over the front without a problem. OK, so you won't be able to toast marshmallows on them, but that's a small price to pay. OK, here's the scene. It's pitch black in a crowded campground. You're stumbling around because you've had a few beers at your mate's tent, looking for your tent. And you don't know which one's yours, but you got one of these. Honey, I'm home. The Caravan and Camping Show is on until next Tuesday with gadgets and gizmos, caravans and motorhomes for every need and every budget.